Please welcome Edward Norton, everybody. Edward Norton. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, you look good. You look trim. Uh, you, thanks very much. I've, I've, been, been running? I've, I've been sick. I've been running, yeah. yeah. I've been running to the bathroom, actually, <laughs> is what I've been doing. Dude, you look your hair looks like it made a bit of a recovery from the... Uh, yeah, yeah. That it's a, when you... When you uh, I learned a lot about what happens after you take cornrows out. <laughs> I looked... Um, you remember Gene Wilder and Young Frankenstein? Yeah! <laughs> really? Is exactly that what, what it looks You should like. keep... Go with that, you man. Should, you don't have to dye it. You oh, can no. do, that's what you could do. I don't know, I'd quite, I want to dye my hair perox. Well, you dyed your hair for movies before, haven't you? Yeah, now and then. Yeah, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. And people go, hey, that guy's like Edward Norton. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you, you'd, you'd look like, um, like James Wood. James Woods in Against All Odds, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that'd be all right. Do I have to be that crazy? <laughs> Because I can do it. Yeah. Uh, how are you? You at the flying? You still flying? You're I'm still flying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. You? Nah, not so much. I can't get, get up, you know, as it were. Uh, <laughs> and I, I think it's dangerous to keep flying when you're not flying very often. Do you fly a lot? I've, yeah, I fly enough. Right, okay. Yeah. See, I don't fly enough. I go once a month and scare everybody. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be scary. No, no, it I know. It should be many things, but not scary. When did you learn to fly? Mm, maybe, you know, eight, eight years ago. Really? Yeah. Why did you do it? Childhood, childhood... Dream, you know, I always, always was interested. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I like getting, I like getting up and yeah, I like uh, looking down yeah. and seeing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help myself. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of weird innuendo disease. You like, know, people, yeah. anything people say, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you enjoy crackers? Oh, you bet I do. Yeah. yeah. Take it's, it from six to midnight. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 always a terrible <laughs> thing. Yeah. Do you ever get stuck doing like? Do you ever get stuck in a part? Like you play a part in a movie and you think I'm just going to be this guy forever because it's awesome. <laughs> um, this guy was this guy was good. This I liked guy him. Pretty he scary was like a, looking. Yeah. Well, yeah. He he seems that way at first, but he's actually very very uh, anxious. He's very anxious. What's the crime he committed? In the he, movie? He's 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 guy. He's in for drug crimes and arson from when he was very very young, and he's been in for a long long time, and is really. Uh, de desperate to to have a life, you know, and be free. Right, and the, so the movie's about him uh, and Robert De Niro trying. Yeah, to De Niro. De Niro is the parole review officer who's judging the sincerity of his his change. Yeah, right. Uh, it's mm. it's it's good. Is that really a heavy good. film? It it is it is exciting, um, but you want to you want to break in a musical number in there just to lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> you know, like they do in Glee. You know, uh -huh. it's like. Uh, this is a serious thing. This is really bad. Don't, don't you want me? <laughs> I think, um, I think I could handle that. Yeah. I think that I think Mila Jovovich could have handled that. I think De Niro. De Niro, not so much. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like, he's reached that stage, Robert De Niro, now where everybody kind of has an impression of him. It's like Michael Caine or Sean Connery. He's at that level. And yet, and yet he's, he's kind of inim inimitable. He's, he's, uh, you, you can, but then, like in this film, he's, he's, so, he's so good. He's, he's like doing something entirely different than I've seen him do before. And did you go into prisons and have a look around? I did, yeah. That actually, I, uh, it's one of the things I like most about the job, you know. It's, what what reason would I ever have to go to the, a prison Whoa, I, uh, north of Detroit? Yeah. North of Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a couple yeah. right now, buddy. Have you been incarcerated? Well, I've been incarcerated, yeah. 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 What do you call this? <laughs> <laughs> this is called no, I've never been a prison. steady gig in a recession. Yeah, there you go. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's poverty, but it's continuous. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in jail, but I've never been to prison. I've just been, you know, held over, you know, for a couple of nights for the sake of the, you know, community. What about you? you ever... No, I've never been arrested. Never I've, been arrested? No, I've never been arrested. Never done anything wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I've done anything wrong. I've just never been caught. Yeah. I've never been caught. Of course, a lot of people in there really deserve to be there, there as were. well. You know they... what was interesting, though? The ones who, the ones that I talked to who needed to be in there, they knew it. Oh, they did? Yeah, they said so. Oh. They, they, they said so. And uh, the one... And but surely if you know that you should be in prison, then maybe you have enough self-awareness to not do the thing that would get you in prison in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, I mean, it, it was, it's an intense environment, as you might yeah. imagine. Yeah, no, I don't think I would do well. I'm too pretty. <laughs> 
you, you go just in. Just say and, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Just say yeah. Uh, That's what I said. You look yeah, true. Yeah, as soon as I walked right, out, I, I said how good you looked. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, you know. Yeah. I, I, did you get your hair done like that in the prison, or did you have to go to a special mm -hmm. Hollywood jail salon? No, there was no. Uh, the, I, I work with a great lady who um, she cut Elvis's hair. That's really? how long she's been around. Wow. Yeah. Um, but she did not know how to do braids, uh, those kind of braids. And so she, uh, we found a lady uh, named Crystal in downtown Detroit. I knew her. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Because she's done braids. Oh, yeah, for the skeleton. No, I was going to say in your pants. Oh, braids in your yeah, pants? Yeah. Yeah. God. God. Yeah. What's uh. wrong with you? I set it up. Are I, lo I lobbed yeah, it to I know, you. I know. You're right. You, I got you set it over they told here. Me it what the robots. Oh, it's too late now. It's too late now. Anyway, um, she, Crystal, Crystal had forearms that could like, you know, she could take three walnuts and like crush them. You know, I like would, women like that. I know you. Know. Yeah. The, um, but but that meant, you know, she there's, she put some real torque on. Does it hurt? Get it it hurts. Really? Yeah. I would get it done on a Friday so that my face was normal by Monday. Does it work as a kind of facelift? It does, you know, I'm so onto yeah. it, man. I'm getting it done. I told you. I yeah, told yeah, you. no, it'd be good. You'd look good. Yeah, I think so. Cornrows then. Well, when it's you like come a, back, I'll have cornrows. Like a glass. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's having a bad day. Yeah, no, he is. Um, it's a rough day for him. He'd look like uh, he'd look like a like a glass glass Weijin. Is that what you call glass Weijin? Glass Weijin drug dealer. From Glasgow, yeah. Glass Weijin drug dealer. Yeah, with the, with the yeah. No, they, they 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 have drug dealers over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw. It. Yeah, and they have cornrows too. Yeah. I think I don't know. I've been there for oh, a long God, time. You know, you're an American. Yeah, I am now. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, we're out of time, man. <laughs> Just, see, I'm sitting here in my mind trying to set up the robot. No, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why don't we? You're, you're a, a, a very, very accomplished actor. A very, you know, you're a big timey actor. Would you fancy doing an awkward pause with me? Yeah. All right, good. Just tell me when you're getting going. Oh, you started already. Well, you see, it's that good. No, no, no. What, what I was going to say was. What? Um, he's doing it, he's doing it now. <laughs> I'll get in, I'll get in, all right. Anyway, I mean, uh, you know, no. Wow, this is like a lot of... Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs>
Oh which yeah, is, uh, yeah, very good. Wes, Wes, Wes Anderson's, Anderson's film. Hood he's Hood. quite the uh, he's quite the the uh, the innovator, isn't he? He's, quite he's, the odd he's I think artist. he's in my generation. I think he's one of the great, the real American originals. I think he's going to go down as one of those rare directors, you know, who, who was a real auteur. Uh, and he's and and this little film has turned into this kind of surprise. Yeah, it was a big hit. Yeah, a hit. Yeah, so yeah. which which was thrilling because we all kind of when we did it, we were. We, we, it was so little, we, we all lived in a house together, Bill Murray and Wes and me and... You lived in a house with Bill Murray? I did, yeah. <laughs> Man, I've been, I've been in a restaurant with Bill Murray and that's, that's a lot. You're taking that's your a chance. Lot of, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of Bill Murray. I mean, I'm a huge Bill Murray fan, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I mean, Bill Murray's like a comedy god, but uh, that's a lot of Bill Murray being around uh, it's, uh, right there. Yeah, no, it, it was fun. And his, ki his kid slept walked into my room one night at three in the morning, which was fun. Yeah, that'd be kind of uh, weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but it, 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 that was fun, and then the Bourne film was a huge amount of fun. Actually, it was like uh, that that director too. Do you do, do you like the right. uh, do, do you like the spy uh, thrillers? Do you enjoy that kind of? Oh thing? yeah, yeah. I mean, I love I loved all. Do those. you do you read those type of books? I you know I used to like I love Graham Greene, all those Graham right. Greene novels. There was a great guy you should read, a guy called Philip Kerr. Yeah, no, I've. You read that stuff? Is, is that a is Berlin a, Noir and Prague Noir? He writes yes. novels about a, a detective uh, who is a, a German policeman while the Nazis take over Germany, and he, you know, it's like solves crimes and you know Goebbels is after him. You know what I think? I think the appeal of those kind of books and and these movies, the the Bourne films, is everybody everybody has that fantasy of being someone who who gets to peek, who knows what's going on. You right. Know? It's it's the it's the idea that. I'm going to be one of those special people who knows what's going on. And what, what I think is the, the fun about the Bourne films is that, is that it's sort of the realization that even when you're inside, you're not really inside. Right. You're still getting used. You're still a cog in the machinery. And then, and then you, you, know, you start pushing back against it. And I, th I think um, they did a really, Tony Gilroy did a really, he wrote all the original ones and then he wrote and directed this one. And he did a fantastic job kind of expanding on the story it keeps rolling out yeah i know i i i like the Bourne films there's lots of uh, lots of fighting yeah they're good. i like watching fighting because i keep thinking ah, i'm not involved <laughs> uh, that really helped you've done a lot of fighting in movies i've, I've done my share like a ton like i mean yeah. you even beat yourself up in fight club i knock myself yeah around. like in that there's a scene where you actually beat the crap out yourself and i hit and i i we we the the blood obviously is fake, but it's sticky. Yeah. And uh, there was all this fake glass around, and it didn't. It, it ended up being one of the big th laughs. And when I kind of came up, and there was all this fake glass stuck into the blood on, on my hand, and it and it always got a gasp, and it was totally by accident. Yeah, well, have you ever have you ever had blood in a cut in your hand? I yeah I, I, I had my period where I you know put my hand. <laughs> through a, Let me, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Strike that. What was the Willy I don't Wonka? know that Johnny Memphis cares to hear about your period. Uh, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, well, you know, actors are sensitive. That's, that's going to happen. Uh, well, no, it's... You know, Dorothy Parker said, scratch an actor, you'll find an actress. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah well, there you are. There's... There you go. Yeah. No, no truer word said. All right, uh, <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Edward Norton. <laughs> Edward Norton. Edward Norton. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with uh, Edward Norton, uh, and uh, he, uh, he was talking about uh, a, a period in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess there's the ones that you're uh, actually happy come along. Um, when a when a period arrives and you're happy about it. Well, yeah. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, that that would be times when you're. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yeah! you got it. You get it. Oh. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, but you know, that's it's, me. That's Johnny Memphis. It's Sometimes it's, it's the motorcycle accident. Yeah, since I had the accident, I don't know. Look, we're out of time. So, uh, what do you fancy? A mouth organ, awkward pause. Um, you can go for the big cash prize, or my new one. <clears throat> can you guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking? <laughs> um, if you can I, guess, I'm gonna go with the new. I think she's. Wait, wait, wait! Don't say it. Yeah, okay. First of all. Uh, 
What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the Big Cash Prize! If, if you can guess... If you can guess correctly what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking, you'll win $50. $50. <laughs> $50. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. What am I thinking? I think she's uh, thinking about uh, Johnny Memphis's ball handling skills. <laughs> Let's check in with Her Majesty and see if that's true. Is that true, Your Majesty? Well, I would have accepted, period. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm, I am thinking about whatever he said. $50. Yeah, $50. All right. Edward Norton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it. Put it in your car. No, I'll have to ask for that next no, time. No, don't ask for it. It's very, very painful indeed. But I might like a little pain. Whoa, whoa. A, do not judge the lady in the leather dress. <laughs> and two, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> do you like a little, um, uh, you like a little pain, do you? You know, like a little, uh, little bit of hair pulling? Uh, maybe, every just now and then. Just, just a touch. Just a little bit of, oh, hey, Just a yeah, touch, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why'd you cut your hair?